All right, here's a quick overview of what I use for 95% of my carving, maybe 99% of my carving. I'm not saying this is the best approach, I'm just showing you what I use if that might be valuable. Especially if somebody's just starting out and they don't wanna buy a ton of uh, tools, this would be the kit that I would recommend. You can get all of these from James Company that's J-A-Y-M-E-S. Company or uh, the Duck Blind, which is Willie McDonald, uh, also sells these types of supplies. So just a quick overview for rough out, I use saber tooth bits. The yellow are the fine tooth. The green is like a medium tooth. I lean towards the fine tooth. Uh, it goes a little slower but it gives me a little more control, doesn't tear and snag as much as the green bits. These are three quarter inch, roughly. All of these are rough dimensions in diameter. This is a cylinder, has teeth on the end of it, which I find helpful. And this is a, a bit I use a lot with this kind of ball nosed cylinder, uh, because you can use the end of the, the bit as you go, and that's helpful. I've put a, a couple of carbide cutters up there. I don't use them that much, but I do, do use them periodically. Those are carbide steel uh, and they, they do some shaping. I use a lot of these, uh, I'm calling these cut saw bits. They could be saber tooth bits. Uh, I think both companies make very similar products. This is a flame shape. And this is a little cylinder shape. And again, the cylinder has teeth on the end of it. And that's helpful if you want to do some uh, tight work and use the end to do some grinding. Uh, these are then moving into more of the refined work. And these are ruby bits. This is a bullet shaped. I'm calling, these are my own names, a bullet shape, pyramid shaped ruby bit a round, that's probably a quarter inch ball or less, maybe three sixteenths. This little flame shape is really helpful. And this cylinder, which is about, about three millimeters or about an eighth of an inch in diameter and has grit on the end of it is also very, uh, a tool that I use a lot in, in detailing. I've also not found too much difference between the diamond grit and the ruby grit bits. So I use both kind of interchangeably and I use kind of a medium uh, coarse grit, uh, but you can also buy very fine grit and very coarse grit. And then these bits down here are for detailing. These are small cylinders. This is probably a millimeter in diameter, maybe a millimeter and a half. Again, those are rough guideline dimensions. These are probably diamond, and this is a little round ball that I use for nostrils and for getting in tight spots where you can use the end of that ball to do some shaping. So those are all kind of in the ruby diamond bit area. And then I use this cushion sander a lot, and that is about 150 grit. And that sandpaper is interchangeable. They give you a little tool to remove the sandpaper when it's worn out. And there's a rubber uh, drum, cushion drum, under the sandpaper, and that gives you a little cushion as you're uh, using the sander and shaping. So that is a quick overview, and hopefully that is helpful. I'm going to even zoom in further. A lot of these bits are um, really filled up, as you can see, because they've been used for a long time. But that's a good thing about this. Uh, you can use these bits for a long time. I've had many of these for many, many years and they're still working for me.